Satelit Miasat 3B ialah satelit terbesar Miasat setakat ini dengan kapasiti 48 transponder. Menurut Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif Miasat Satelit Sistem Senamberhad, Paul Brown Canyon kepada Esra Awani, dengan pelancaran satelit baru ini, pelanggan dapat menikmati lebih banyak saluran dengan visual, kualiti, definasi tinggi. It is the largest satellite from Malaysia to date and could you share with us what would you this new satellite offer to consumers? Um, yes, I'm happy to talk about it. So Miasat 3, as you mentioned, is the, is the largest satellite today. It's actually 10 times more powerful than our first satellite, Miasat 1 and Miasat 2, which were launched uh, in 1996. The satellite is effectively there to provide more capacity to our customers. Um, those customers will be the DTH operators in Malaysia, India and Indonesia. Um, it will allow them to significantly expand their, their, their pay TV businesses i.e. providing more channels, providing more high-definition content and more, in the future, also ultra-high-definition content. Okay, let's talk about just the satellite itself, its capacity. Uh, how is this different compared to your earlier satellites in the fleet that you have currently? Uh, I mean, this is a model of the satellite here. It's a, it's a different design from the first satellites. Um, in fact, it's a, it's a tri to stabilize with a, a box in the middle and solar cells coming out. Um, the main difference is just more powerful. It's a bigger satellite. Mm -hmm. um, this provides 48 uh, transponders for, for services, Miasat 1 provides 16. These transponders are much more powerful in terms of their, the power that they provide to the, the customer. In terms of uh, coverage, um, how far would it go compared this, to this? This one is designed to provide by services into Malaysia, which is our kind of our core mm -hmm. market, into India, Indonesia and also Australia which is about 1.5 billion people. So it's a, it's a very large kind of segment of the world's population. Okay. Well, Miyasa satellite system has been somewhat a backbone for the Malaysian ICT industry. And with this new phase of development, how do you think Miyasa can support the growth of communications industry in Malaysia? I think satellite services, as you say, are a backbone in infrastructure. So our customers, our end users, the, 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 uh, the, the general public, don't normally see what we're doing because we're kind of one step behind the scenes. What we do is we provide communication services to people like Astro, to people like uh, RTM, to Cellcom, to Government of Malaysia, and then they use those, those communication services to provide the services. So what you will see us doing, over the, or our customers doing over the next few years is providing richer, more services to the end users.